Video games are an entertaining, expressive, and an interactive form of multimedia that has existed for quite some time. Some genres can even be considered an art form, where these games utilize unique artistic styles and qualities to convey a certain story, or even emotion, to the player. These kinds of games are a positive influence on artistic creativity, facilitating expression within their audience by introducing them to a fresh, new perspective on fantastical worlds. But what about the genre of games situated on the more violent side of the spectrum? Are violent games a negative influence on their audience, more specifically a reinforcer of aggressive and negative behavior? As stated by Miguel Sicard, games can be enjoyed without reflecting on their meaning, but they are imbued with a layer of moral choices and discourses that appeal to the player's ethical capacities. With this in mind, do violent games facilitate aggressive behavior and immorality within players that have pre-existing violent, aggressive, and non-ethical tendencies? Or maybe violence in games isn't the case, but mismatched time management may disrupt the player's daily inclinations? Violence in video games has been perceived as a problem since their inception. More specifically, the effect of non-consequential violent choices and gameplay styles of certain emerging games on players. This issue became more apparent when it was found that a number of school shooters were avid players of games, and that in recent years, violent crimes that have been linked to a violent video games include a school shooting spree in Santee, California, as well as a number of homicides and crimes. However, due to the lack of evidence linking avid gameplay of violent video games to violent behavior, as stated by Mark Griffiths, these assertions of games being linked to violence and aggressive behavior have been made without the backup of empirical evidence. Despite the continuing controversy, there has been relatively little systematic research. Stephen J. Kirsch supports this claim, where he states that few studies have assessed the influence of violent video games on aggression during the age periods, i.e. early and middle adolescence, associated with school shootings, and none of these studies assess the influence of violent video games from a developmental perspective. Due to the lack of study on these particular developmental stages, Kirsch states that video game violence cannot be definitively linked with violence in adolescence, as a developmental perspective is crucial to the understanding of the influence of video game violence on adolescent aggression. Negative behavior in players as a causation of avid playtime isn't just limited to violence in games, however. Douglas A. Gentile claims that despite the content, misplaced time management and excess time dedicated to games causes a displacement in a student's life more specifically, the student's grades. Gentilly states that studies show a fairly consistent negative correlation between recreational video game play and grades. For example, high school students who report spending more time playing video games or who report spending more money on video games had poorer grades in English classes. Gentilly neither implicitly states nor directly confirms the correlation specifically between violent video games and real-life violence. However, he does acknowledge that regardless of the content, the amount of play could affect grades negatively by displacing time spent in other educational and social activities. This displacement can influence learning and social behavior by taking the place of activities such as reading, family interaction, and social play with peers, in which violent behavior or aggressiveness may be implicit result of lack of social interactivity. There has been very little evidence to support that violent video games will facilitate such extreme behavior such as homicide. However, there is strong evidence supporting the fact that the more time spent on video games can have an adverse effect on a person's daily life and inclinations, severely damaging their time management. Therefore, video games may facilitate negative behavior rather than aggressive behavior and is more likely to adversely affect the player's time management skills.